It sounds loud to me. How's the audio for you guys? Can you still hear me? Am I coming through okay? Seems fine? Right on. Cool. My journey began with many restless nights, watching a man hunched over his desk and immersed in an endless endeavor. Father, always entangled in a web of mysterious equations and weird experiments. The sheer awe of this world of his was so overwhelming, yet so irresistible. Everything was magical, intangible, and he, he was the grand wizard from a fairy tale. But he was real. My father, my protector, my idol. He set me up for life as best as he could. Like many others, believing in the Supreme Bureau's vision that we have to sacrifice in order to progress. That must be why he decided on one of the greatest sacrifices a parent can make. To leave his family. To leave his daughter, who looked up to him, and whom she was so much alike. That piece of paper changed him. It was something extraordinary, an offer he could not refuse. The whole time, I hoped to find him at home one day, hunched over his desk. Instead, I found a box with all his stuff, sent from the Bureau. The experiment has failed, but the research must go on. Progress above all. His notebook in the box was littered with words like fumium and catcanut. I had no idea of their Cat importance cannot. then. Fumium. Oh, interesting storytelling I studied technique. hard at I the like university, the, uh, driven by a scientific curiosity he had planted in me. I like the BO. The BO. I wanted to be the best. To know everything there was to know. Maybe even what happened to him. I was never able to find anything that would lead me to the exceptional substance he had glorified so much, Fumium. But one day, it found me. My former professor, Laura Reich, chose me to join her team in the next big project of the Supreme Bureau, the Arx Vaporum, a project I had never heard a word about before. One which would change my life forever. Thanks to her, I was given the opportunity to experiment with that bewildering and dangerous substance of seemingly limitless potential. I quickly adopted a phrase from a distant past that had been resonating in me the whole time. The experiment has failed. Progress above all. I was so engulfed in research, so blind and oblivious to what was going on around me. Hey, I didn't see it. And maybe I didn't really want to see. As the whole tower slowly descended into chaos. Until that dark day when it turned against us. No, this is not cyberpunk. <laughs> Javino, how you doing? All right, so I did set the graphics to maximum. We're going to test this uh, new graphics card we got. Hello, Lisa. Can you hear me? Don't call me that, Ron. You know how much I hate it. Yeah, sorry, Ellie. I can hear you loud and clear. I'm still on the elevator. Remind me, what exactly is the plan for today? We're going to test the basic rig you have on as usual. But today it comes equipped with the shielded radio. I'm having a great day. Thanks, Javina. We need to see its interaction with the teleportation device. The radio seems to work great. For now, well, let's see if it holds up when you step into the teleporter. Just tell me when you're ready. So, Legend of Grimrock. Just think that, except not in a swamp somewhere. We're underground. Uh, hopefully it looks good. The test will go great. Yeah, I'm sure.
first things first options audio options uh yep try that all right so it's a grid based movement system it's turn based enemies will attack uh well it, i don't know that for a fact if it's anything like Grimrock, actually, that it could be more real-time during combat, but we'll see. All right, so I've done a, a little bit here, but I didn't ruin too much for myself. Oh, that's right. Okay, so we've got a step on one, two, three. It introduces you very slowly to, um, you know, little puzzles and stuff. Left mouse button to activate. We can look around freely, which is nice. Is that RTX 3080 coming into play quite nicely there? I'm going to activate this. That activates the little wheel thing over here, and then this button becomes active. There we go. Do I play Undermine with a keyboard uh, or mouse? Controller or keyboard and mouse. I used controller on that one. Um, there's, as most games, there's pluses and minuses to both, but definitely, um, yeah, it's, uh, I think it's better with, with controller. It's, it's less accurate when you're throwing your weapon, which is actually very important and something that I didn't learn for the longest time. What a sight. I like it down here. It's so spacious. You're at the bridge, huh? Yeah, nice place. Puzzle Chambers? Hey, but little too mad. What's up, dude? Good to see you. I'm um, going back to somebody else's question as well. What do I think of Dead Cells? Uh, I like it a lot. Um, I'm just not very good at it. I beat uh, BC01 and I think maybe BC02, but BC03 wiped the floor with me. So. Yeah, controller for me was just very, very comfortable with that game. So keep an eye out for stuff as well, because I guarantee you I will miss something. And if you... Um, I guess this is one that I'll say don't immediately spoil puzzles, because I'd like to give it a you know little bit of a shot, but at the same time I'm not going to really complain all too much. Oh, okay. Ron, the teleport coils are out of power. Was this expected? Yeah, there's a massive dead dead cells um, the coils update coming soon, well, isn't there? There should be some spare batteries in the servicing rooms. All right, so we need a couple of um, batteries. signals on the positioning system isn't Back that weird looks like somebody's still down there after all it's a strangest oh, thing i could I not really see that coming at all silent, peaceful shift all right there's a wrench somewhere around here f5 to save your progress f9 to load last save game okay door there and... Ah, we can't go that way. I guess we die if we walk in that? Test this F5 system. I mean, I had to test, right? For science. What other game has, like, insta-kill death pits? Ah. Something... I, I can't remember... Something coming to mind definitely, uh, definitely stri strikes a chord. Alright, how do we quickly exit? I guess just hit there. Alright, that's, so that's our primary attack. I guess we're a melee class, at least for now. That's a, that's a lovely uh, wrench you have there. 
It'd be a shame if something bad were to happen right about now. What? Oh, that's so weird. Hey, we got 10 Fumium. Game over. That's it. Dad would be so proud. We got the Fumium. It's amazing. What other game had a wrench? Thanks for the early warning, partner. Yeah, this guy's a bit of a dick. Like, straight away, if one drone attacked me, one, and it wasn't even that dangerous, although it did literally remove one third of my life, um, I'd be a little more pissed off. Like, like, yeah, words don't. Mm. I'd, I'd, I'd be out of there so fast. Bioshock's the one I'm thinking of. Yeah, yeah. God, that was such a good game. Repair kit. Uh, restores integrity over time. Affects yourself. Last 10 seconds restores 5% of max integrity per second. 45 second cooldown. Uh, shift left mouse button. Right mouse button to move to the inventory. Shift left mouse button. Oh, okay, that's to select one out of a couple, I guess. Can I hotkey this? Oh, look at that. It automatically gets added down here. Cool. Use R to repair. Oh, I'm fine. One battery. Okay, here we go. There has to be one more. The controls are a little bit weird to get used to, for sure. I'm, uh... I do like the fact that it turns when you look, though. That's kind of cool. Could you imagine being 30% dead? Like, as far as I'm concerned, you'd be in hospital for months. So this is the furthest I've been so far. This is, uh, this I have not done the additional room here. And that's obviously where it wants us to go. Locked door. Interesting. Elevator. But it's inactive because of the red light. Well, maybe the red light appears because it's inactive. Did you ever think of that? Uh, Edwin, yeah. Um, Grimrock. That's the game that I most like in this too. Grimrock did exactly the same thing. Alright, do we have anything in these... Bacta tanks? Guess not. Uh, am I going forward or back here? No, no, no. I'm going to check the map. This is the door I was looking for over here. Um, test teleporter. Right, that's our job. It's literally my job. Okay, so the doors auto close afterwards. No problem. Good to know. That's actually smart. I wonder if enemies, uh... It's smart and it's a pain because now I don't know where I've been and where I want to get to, but... Okay, we need to place the battery, which is right here. Okay, that's one. So interestingly, the other side didn't open up by the looks of it. We go down this door. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Uh, CHR0, hello. How are you doing? Thank you very much for the subscription. Welcome to the channel. Please enjoy your stay. Pull up a chair. Get the popcorn on and expect me to die many, many, many times. It's a locked door. 
Okay, so first puzzle we can't do. Interesting. That's where we got the battery from. Wonder if this is breakable. Oh, I can't even. So that's something. Doesn't say what it is. Okay. Oh, you can add notes to the map. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. Secret passage. So the only one I, other one I noticed was here. Uh, is there? Crouch button, because I can't get down there. Let's see. Input options. No, it's all done in that sort of fixed window. So we're not getting through there by the looks of it. Buckle time stop. There's an option to toggle time stop. Caps lock. Advanced time. Toggle this, the time stop mode. This only works if the stop time mode is enabled in the game options. Wow, I can really hear that GPU spinning up. It's got this uh, DLSS mode. I think that's some kind of advanced uh, processing. It increases the graphical fidelity of stuff. Um, hmm. Is it the difficulty? Casual, for casual players, without finding the enemies too challenging. That doesn't change the type of game, does it? Game tips. I'll turn head bob off for uh, people who are sensitive to that. That's fine. Screen shake. I'll leave that on and see how bad it is. Gore. Yeah, we want that on. Yeah, I don't know. Movement type. Old school step-based movement, more fluid move looking movement with head bob when walking forward. Oh, let's try the new one. Although hopefully head bob is still turned off. Oh yeah, that's much better. Okay, so straight away we're a little bit smoother now. Press caps lock. Oh. Okay. So if we get into combat, we can... Or if we get into trouble, more likely, we can slow it down. It's only sort of active when you're pressing stuff. Hmm. Any ideas? Yeah, start shouting them out. This is going to be one of those ones that I just kick myself when I find out where, what it, what it does. Servicing rooms. Where have we not been? That's our teleporter that we need to test. This is like dead space. There's another door back here that we haven't tested. Let's check that before we continue on. Can I get a map on the screen, I wonder? That would be nice. Game options again. Game tips. Tooltip display. Delay before tooltips show up. 
Auto equip, no. Okay, that's a shame. This one's deactive too. Inactive. Deactivated. We need another battery, but we need another place to explore. The only thing that stands to reason is that little hole in the floor. And we need a way to get across here as well. That's nothing. I don't know what that is. Giant steel box. Can I push the big wooden block into the hole? Oh, wait. Yes, I can. Thank you. This wall looks weak. And Doesn't it? It does look weak. Oh my god. A wrench? Come on, I don't care how broken your concrete wall is. Classic. Classic video game. Okay. Oh, is that a chest? Held yet. The brick. To throw oh, okay. So weighted items. To drop or throw an item. Open your inventory by pressing I. Select the item by pressing left mouse button. Move the cursor to where you want to drop or throw. Left mouse button again. You just drag it out of your inventory to where you want it to go. Okay. Yeah. I, Terran, I, I figured that. Yeah. Got it. Okay, so... Inventory. Brick. That's a, a shiny bag. We've got another one over there. I'm going to have to take this, aren't I? Oh, maybe I can't take it. Too far away. Well, before I continue, just in case we have to reuse the same brick. Let's so move it over. Put it back in our inventory. Take all, that's fine. Put it over here. No. Game says no. Alright, no problem. The controls are a little bit a little bit clunky. I'm not used to it. You can only activate by heavy pushable objects, enemies, and yourself. Wooden pressure plates can be activated by anything. So there's two types of pressure plates. One that can be activated by stone or whatever. Um, and we need to get into here. Because. Oh. Okay. Okay. This is cool. This is dope. I figured it out. Nope, let's pull it back one more. We'll check that, definitely. At least it doesn't let you... Well, I wonder. You might be able to permanently screw up a puzzle and have to reload. Let's grab what's in here first. Another brick, no gun. I am disappointed. 
Imagine building a facility like this. Like, what is wrong with you? Yeah, just another day. Go and activate the, uh... Go and activate the stuff. You'll be fine. We've got another busted wall over here. Oh, heads up. really love to stop missing. It's kind of cool though. The bits sort of disintegrate for a time. Guess my next battery's in here somewhere. Love it. Great. Got what I need for the coil. She's now. so chipper. I would still be incredibly pissed off. Uh ammunition. Now we're talking. All right, so we've got a dream. I thought my years at the Supreme Bureau University would always be remembered as the time of my life. The college, the unexhaustible energy of youth, the friendships, the marvel of learning new things, all the excitement. And then when the adult life kicked in, all would tone down to a stereotype with occasional peaks here and there, just the way... It is for most people. I was wrong. Getting handpicked for the Arx Vaporum project, say that three times fast, has been a blessing. My previous life, with all its silly achievements and fleeting highs, simply pales in comparison. I know in my heart that it is exactly the place where I should be and at exactly the right time. Uh, while most of my peers go to their daily jobs, drowning in tedium, thank you very much for reminding me, I play a vital role in paving the way forward for the whole society thanks to my talents and hard work not a day goes by without discovering something so inspiring that i can hardly fall asleep at night who was this person i guess my dad writing to himself my life has been a dream james knoll deputy foreman of manufacturing maybe not maybe not my dad circuits oh upgrades cool stats Precision, 10. Yeah, that we want to bump up a little bit as soon as possible. Okay. Huh? Can't you attack and then move out of their attack? We'll try, Jeffrey. We'll try. Um, that might be possible. We might have a block ability soon. What the... Uh. Yep, kind of. Ron? What the hell? I just killed something else. A giant rat this time. What? That's not possible. What? Rats in a dungeon? Well, given the state of the tower, we should expect the unexpected. Be careful. What a dick. Coils, rogue drones, mutant rats. Okay, well now we're back here. We got the extra battery. Let's make sure we're headed the right way this time. Back here. Yep. Oh, Mac, you have no idea. If this was my supervisor, I'd be like, we are done and you're getting your ass reported. Done, Happy days. It's done. I can go home for the day. Edwin, sorry. Who are you referring to? The rat's just looking for bricks. Yeah. Whoa! I'm through. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Loud and clear. Weren't now, we supposed to test the, the radio? Just next to you to confirm this. It's offline as well, Ron. Tell me I'm not gonna have to manually recharge it on this side as well. Oh, well, I'm afraid that's the plan. Since Director Reich left for Capital Island, everything's been upside down. In any case, two batteries, you know the drill. 
Let me open the door for you. Oh, you can happily open a door remotely, but you can't do any of this yourself. Look for hidden interactives by mousing around. Pressing left mouse button to activate. Hidden interactives? Why did you tell me that right here? It's probably referring to the box up above, but in the next room, the chest. But if you say the word hidden, I'm literally going to be hitting every wall now. Oh yeah. You best believe. Light shields. Why can I not activate it? Passively grants a chance to block. Oh, okay, nice. So yes, you can, in theory, move out of the way. Obviously, a lot of these enemies have a um, sort of random chance to move to either side of you. So you could nicely do it, uh, unless you know you're in the the exact layout map for that to happen in. I mean, the she even looks straight down at it. Okay, same puzzle again. Yerp. Oh, this one we can't move. No, we're looking for a wooden... Wooden crate. Well. None of these. Did anyone see if the game auto-saved, by the way? Nuclear squirrel nuts. I'm not far behind you, man. This is, uh... Yeah, it's... Okay, so we're obviously not meant to activate that unless by standing on it ourselves. It's basically a series of puzzles intermingled with a little bit of combat. And, uh... Wait. Unless I didn't... Why did I think I saw a button? Pressure plate. Maybe I'm wrong. Alright. Oh, no way! Two for one. Alright, we're gonna restore integrity. So I backed myself into a corner there on purpose so that um, we would only fight one at a time. Hey, we got another repair kit. Lovely. Has my health gone up? Oh, it's because of this. This has, this has both. 30% chance to inc reduce incoming damage and gives us uh, an extra 40 health. That's pretty good. All right, so what's this button here? This is a different sort of button. Requires a rusty key. Of course it requires a rusty key. What better way to access a locked facility than a rusty key? Uh, especially in the future, you know, it's definitely uh, r rusty keys are the, the way forward. <laughs> it stinks in here. I think I know why. Oh, okay, so we've got a portable air conditioning unit, supposedly run by batteries. Um, and unless Ron, the guy upstairs, activated it when he turned on the door. I mean, he might have. He's a bit of a dick. I wonder if this here blocks... I need to test this. Does this block? Yeah. So it it's... That's cool. There's a physical uh, barrier there. I'd like that. Nothing in here. It'd be nice if we could do a side-to-side -side movement instead of having to pull and push only. Oh, right. Got it. Well, there's a reason. Nope. Now we, ne now we get behind it.
I mean, it's, yeah, it's pretty obvious where we have to go. Uh, this I should be able to push. What's the working radius of this? Looks like one square around, maybe? Yep. It's a three by three area. Cool. Oh. That's where it's supposed to go. I don't need it anymore. Armory! Hells yeah! Alright. This is all I need. It's locked. The f ah. That's right, you stupid little bot shit. I got a shield now. Five fumium for me. Spiderling. Oh, okay, we're we're uncovering like a bestiary in our notebook. Family work unity. The pillars of progress. Okay, our rent do wrench does eight damage. This does sixteen. 0.4 second attack time. Ah, see, as much as I'd love to use this, I have a feeling it's not advised. We should maybe wait. Switch to set 2. Hotkey Z. Oh, I can't have my shield in both sets, huh? And armor slot. that has to be held. Oh, hand armor will be like a suit upgrade. Hmm. Sass bot. Nice. Some buttons can be activated by shooting them. Oh! Is that a button, or is that a green light? Definite save for a boss? I should be saving all the time. Uh, it Yeah, I'm going to have to pay attention if there's any sort of auto saves on the screen, because um, the worst case would be the last time we saved before we jumped over that little gap business. Uh, it, if I was to lose now, we haven't really done much. It's just... Mundanity? Is that a word? Shoot at it and we will see. Well, I keep pressing tab for inventory. I've been playing too many games lately. Alright. Look at that. Freaking brilliant. Can I hotkey to this? Oh, I could use two weapons at the same time. I don't think that's a good idea yet. It's hard to judge when they're one square away. I mean, I'll give it this. The game looks pretty. I like it a lot. Looking out for cracked walls. Mundane is its own noun. What was that? I know. Earthquake. Oh, good. Yeah, we got lucky here. This is good. So again, yes, you could theoretically move out of the way, but some of the drones are faulty. <laughs> yeah, 
More like every single one of them. Right? I'm yet to see a normal one. She knows what she's talking about. She's the right woman for the job. I know it. Look, trust me. If anyone can get this teleporter stuff tested, this lady right here. Drone problem. Beware. Cute. Uh, welder drones equipped with the new Fumium battery sometimes act strangely, performing actions out of protocol and can even become a threat to humans. After I was attacked uh, by one in the morning, I disallowed further development to other floors, deployment to other floors. But there may have been some of them already out there on the work, uh, on their work duties. Handle with utmost care. Do not approach the erratic drones unless absolutely necessary. I'll get the office to send down a guardian squad to assist in deactivating the faulty ones. Maintenance foreman Alfred Mannheim. F. For your job satisfaction. Seems like the rats are attacking faster. Hmm, not sure. Well, we might be out of the tutorial at this stage. I don't know. That's probably not a good idea. Looks like there's a green light. I think that's just an activation light. Nothing. safely around it. Cool. wonder if there's anything in there now. Oh, look, there is another entrance, so we have to disable this first. The toolkit. Oh, I can get a hammer as well as a wrench now. Follow the path of progress. Join the revolution. Blowtorch box. Basic blowtorch. Gadget. Unleashes a wave of fire in a line. Dealing indirect elemental damage and applying a burn effect to enemies hit. Creates fire wave in front of you. Deals 20 elemental damage. Applies burning effect. Lasts 7 seconds. Deals 4.5 elemental damage per second. Scales with your level. Deals 50% of that damage to other enemies nearby. Half a second cast time. 45 energy cost. Retile range. 12 second cooldown. Hey, just an alternate weapon then. Oh, that's a special one. That gets equipped somewhere. Over here. Uh, you can clearly use it as a weapon. Oh, I just pressed the number one and it happens. Is that unlimited? Looks like it, huh? That's dope. We should definitely be using that. A flammenwerfer. Um, oh, yeah, he on fire, all right. Come on, little buddy. Boom. Not a big fan of the looking down whenever she sees something of interest. Like, you should let the player discover that. Again, keep pressing tab, not escape. Oh, yes. Storage lockers. More ammo. Another repair kit. Definitely smells like a boss. Another hole for little rats to escape. Quick save and quick load, man. Like, that's the business right there. Wait, this was the armory? Oh, come on. You can do better than that. 
Or is this an elevator to an armory? Maybe this is the armory. Alright, wonder. For a child, everything is a wonder. Press right mouse button to listen to this phono diary. For a child, everything is a wonder. Every sight, sound, and smell. So fresh, so vivid, so breathtaking. Seeing my little daughter Sophie take in everything she sees so fully, so unconditionally, makes me pause. But us adults oh, are keeps cynical. Nothing catches our fancy anymore. Nothing seems to take our breath away. Yet, staring at the Fumium core down there on the seabed, we were all children again. Stunned, speechless, and mesmerized forever. From that first sight, I knew right there, right then, squeezed against the tiny window of the submarine, I was blessed. The great Supreme Bureau gave me the opportunity of a lifetime to lead the Arx Vaporum project. A superstructure built right above the meteor in the middle of a vast ocean to extract and research Fumium, the Link. wondrous yes, substance is. leaking from the core. After five years, I'm not so convinced anymore. People around me have changed. A lot. And I can't say for the better. The only thing we seem to have in common is this unwavering, spellbound fascination with Fumium. Two-handed shotgun is technically a rifle. Um, it uses the same... It uses two ammo. Ooh. And it has a two-tile range. Four-second cooldown. 24 damage. Has a 30% chance to apply stun effect. These are some great upgrades, but at the same time, like, how valuable... Since everything's so finite, how valuable is ammunition here? Um, because that makes me a little bit concerned. I switched to the sword. It's a little bit faster. It does slightly less damage, but I think that's okay. Slightly faster. And we're back out. Let's fight some more rats real quick. No? Oh. The so rats will actually take more damage from this blade. It's designed to hurt um, organics more than machines. God damn it, we get a machine. Come on, buddy. Oh my god. Energy cell. Restores energy over time. Oh! Our flamethrower. That's our mana pool on the bottom right hand side behind me. Barely see it right there. Chair, get out of the way. Here we go. Hmm. Lots more to find. Oh yeah, no doubt. Did the bags combine? Press T to restore energy. No, I, I'll wait. I'm not going to waste an energy. Are you kidding me? Come on. That's not how we do. This is still the tutorial. Got our rusty key though. You best believe. Yeah. Smell boss. Still smell boss. Been smelling boss for the last 20 minutes. Did I play the first one? So this is a sequel. I had no idea. Um... No, this I this is the first time I played this particular one. Or this series rather. Oh dang. Three? So if I press caps lock right now. Aha. So we can sort of if we're in the shit, press caps lock, everything freezes and we go, right, what do we need to do? I need to press R, and then I need to press... And then if I swing an attack, for example, it pauses again. So it gives... It's not bad. It definitely... Um, you know, if you're in it, if you're, if you're in the thick of it, that's a good... Good oh shit button. And I think we should leave that on, because I'm definitely not the skill, most skilled player at this kind of thing. Another bag back here. <gasps> okay, now let's find out where we auto-saved. Let's go load game. That'll tell us, won't it? 
Testing facility. It's a quick save. Auto save. Oh, crap. Okay, so auto save was 32 minutes into playtime. Quick save was a whole eight minutes after that. Okay. That was a waste. Let's wait for that to recharge because I do want to get off one decent shot. Hopefully we'll hit all three this time. Buddy, what are you doing? I feed rats like you to my snake. They're less glowy. Okay, take another heal here. It's very kind on the heals. It's like it it knows that it it knows that we need it most. We got the shotgun. What am I missing? I'm missing something. My eye on you, game. Uh, okay, I will heal. And save. You almost have to do this after every encounter. Right. So there's a there's a thing where we need to push that from the other side. We can't get to the other side yet until after. And we're definitely not going that way again. Uh, that's not a button, I don't think. I'm going to test. Save early and often, yes. Yeah, it's definitely got that old school vibe, I guess. These we can't move. I can't push this because of this hole. And I can't get around this. interesting um guys feel free like remember what i said a little bit ago if you've got any ideas maybe give me a chance to let's work together let's get through this um so i don't mind you spoiling or giving ideas maybe don't spoil it but you know if you've got some ideas definitely uh feel free to share that's where we came from i think no, this is where we came from. Okay. Why did I assume you can't move that one? No, no, we, we can. I just need to get into the right position. We might even unlock a skill that would allow us to pull it from a distance, which would be cool. No, this is where we fought the rats. Right. our key door have we not been this way no we have hmm. the one right beside you it had a metal band in the middle wait did i miss one yes mcweave you did oh okay okay you're right yep sorry i i didn't see the the handle See how... Okay, get this. Yeah, this one here. It has an actual handle on it. And this one, yes, it does look different. I should have known that. Um, so the only ones that don't move are these big banded steel ones. Okay, that's fine. Okay, let's figure out... Well, we've got to go forward. Oh, cool. Thank you guys. Because it's two different purposes. What do we got? 
push only. Um, no. No, I think it's just a different graphical design. That's what that's what threw me off. That was actually a switch. Uh, yeah, oh, it's okay. So buttons we can shoot from distance. That we cannot. What the hell? Uh, I didn't save. Was that that's okay. an explosion? Wow, yeah, it sure felt like that. Uh, there's a lot of commotion up here. I'm gonna check what's going on and I'll get back to you, okay? All right. I better hurry up then. Hell yeah, boots, no pants though. Oh, now he's concerned, by the way. You know what, buddy? I want your job. Basic Fumium gun. Oh, wait. So Fumium is a... An ammunition type? Two-handed energy weapon. 36 damage. Five-second cooldown, but... 36 damage is huge. Energy weapons. Once we managed to stabilize the energy flow within the Fumium particle accelerator, we were able to safely direct a burst of energy with great accuracy. This was supposed to simplify and speed up mining and even some construction processes. The experimental line provided quite successfully, but as... Newer and newer blueprints were coming in from the Supreme Bureau. The design resembled something you could call a tool less and less. They called them energy tools, and I call them weapons. I mean, come on now. Does this thing strike you as unconventional welder or a weapon of mass destruction? Henry Runkralf, Chief Robotics Engineer. Right on, Henry. Hendy? Hendy. A cool name. I like that. My next snake will be called Hendy. What the f Oh, that's awesome. Gadget. Creates a small holographic minion to fight for you for a limited time. Uh, you can kill it immediately by dealing direct melee damage to it. Minions are vulnerable to elemental damage, but they inherit the resistance statistic from you. I think that's a little bit more future tech than hologram. Uh, lasts 10 seconds. Integrity 60 plus 12% of your max. Okay. Um, attack damage 3 plus 1.5 of your max. Energy. Oh, interesting. Okay. And that's my second uh, energy thing. So I have a hologram slash thing that fights for me. Uh, Edwin, we can't test that right now, but the next time we find a couple, we definitely will. Projections are unpredictable, hard to control, nigh impossible to sustain and dissolve. Uh, make up your mind, Corinne. What is it? Hard to sustain or hard to dissolve? It's not difficult at all. You just go too abstract too early and then get mixed results with no clear way forward. Um... Took your team's work, simplified a lot of stuff, removed unnecessary layers of abstraction, ditched that useless universal interface crap, and focused on getting very specific and concrete model working first. Then the opportunities to make smaller... Okay, so she's talking about the technology. Um, so here you go, a working gadget that can sustain a small fumation for a limited time. Do your bidding or whatever you guys want to use them for with a complete... Clean up afterwards. Base your further work off this dummy and your golden handy again. Being a little bit uh, not very nice to his colleague there. Um, so here's the thing. Do we keep the weapon that we have that does 7 damage but can attack every second, I think? This gives us plus 1 precision. Or do we switch out for, I'm assuming, a seemingly unlimited energy source that can attack every 5 seconds, but hits for 36? Technically, slightly more damage. You get an extra, you get an extra damage in there. Oh, it's got a, it's got a wind-up as well by the looks of it. 
three quarter second attack time. Does it use your mana? Let's find out. Sure as shit does. Folks, give me a sec. I'm just going to run to the restroom. I'll be right back. All right. Hello. Um, thank you for waiting. Okay. The game is called Vaporum Lockdown. Uh, we just found out that this new rifle that we found, or this new uh, energy weapon, uses our, our energy, which is a shame. Because I was actually quite excited by that. And it's a two-handed weapon as well. That means we can't... Um, carry, oh my god, we can't carry both our sword and our shield at the same time. Shame. So this added to our maximum integrity. Interesting, instead of an armor, they're deciding to have like, I guess a, a global pool of, of damage absorption. Topical, isn't it though? Yep. Vaporum 2020 lockdown COVID edition. Wear a mask. Let's go. Are uh, we going to save for sure? There was just an earthquake before. I didn't like that. So that's the thing we pushed in there. I don't think we need to progress any further. We want to make our way back here to activate these two batteries right here.
Yeah, I think that's good. These walls right here give me a reason to pause, but I just, I think that means that we haven't looked at them directly because you'll notice over here, there's another, like a very similar sort of wall. Although I don't know. Nope, everything has this like shading at the end here. Plus that's a barrier we can't get through. So yeah, I'm just sure. I'm sure it's just something like that. All right, we're done in there. We go back now. God damn, spider too? Ugh. Gross. Yeah, get him, energy butt. Out of energy? That cost me what? 70? Or 60 something? Yeah, you... Oh, you're just gonna keep doing that. That bleed attack. Holy shit, dude. This is not cool. I'm pinned here. Let's heal. Let's put our caps lock on and see this... in action here. Um... 75 energy cost. All right, what does this cost me? 45. I can cast that very soon. Let's get our heal on. This is tough. Hey, Pagrax. What's up, dude? Good to see you, man. Maybe I should advance. This guy is shielded as hell. Oh, right. It's making that noise because... Okay, come in for the landing. Let that get activated. I've got next to no energy now. I could uh, drop one of these energy cells. 10 seconds, 5% per... Uh, I, I don't know. I got the feeling we're close to getting this guy. Could be completely wrong. Got him. Okay. Depth in the con combat like dodging. Um, wasn't really an option here. But that was really tough. That was really, really tough. You can. You can sort of strafe enemies, again, as long as you know which way you're looking. Um, yeah. Let's heal again in just a second. Yeah, let me know if the stream drops, by the way. I got zero dropped. On this end. The spider did it. Hey. It's all good. We are back, baby. Don't worry. Didn't go anywhere. The new graphics card melted? God, don't say that. Frogler, what's up, man? How are you? Okay. Now we're still heading out. We need to return to our rights and we're almost there. Almost home. Obviously there'll be another 
big bad before we get there, but that's just the, the way things are. Video games and all. Look for hidden interact. It did it again. Hidden interactives. What the hell, dude? Am I missing something here? No, breakable walls are very obvious. By mousing around... Maybe it wasn't referring to this. Video games. It says it on, on this square every time. Alright, so obviously we didn't... Get it? A piece of wood? Maybe the piece of wood is the new... In the middle. What? Is it just bad tutorial? Looks like a little square. Oh, on this thing. No shit. How the hell was I supposed to see that? So that's an actual secret. Wow. Integrity upgrade. When consumed, permanently increase your integrity. On use, plus 5% max integrity. That's golden. Um, I don't think I should use that yet, though, right? Plus 5% max gives us, like, 8. Hmm. Oh, yeah, about that. Uh, while Rune Kralf is trying to come up with a mechanical solution to improving exo rig functions, we're thinking here in the workshops about something less involved, something a little more subtle. We believe that his gadgets and add-ons take up too much space unnecessarily. We'd rather replace that junk with a specialized liquid replace based on nitroglycerin mixed with various concoctions of fumium. Uh, solution by applying it into the hydraulic system, we can increase its uplift force, stability, or speed of reaction, among other benefits. Production of these liquids is less demanding, and the effect is de facto the same, while also keeping the rig lighter. I sent the specifications of individual mixtures to both Director Reich and Mrs. Reich after approval. We can start the production and expedition of these boosters to individual departments. Corinne Steel workshop supervisor. Hmm. It's from your base? Oh, okay. If that's if that's the case, it's not that big of a deal. Are there levels? One moment. Blunt weapons. Each rank increases blunt weapon damage. Blade. Handguns. Rifle. Energy weapons. Dual wielding. Armorer. Increases your overall durability. Plus 30%. And then we get skills as well by the looks of it. Reduce incoming damage by 15%. Are these passive? Oh, that's so good. Max integrity plus 60 30% resistance. Ah, oh, this is going to be amazing. Trauma catalyzer. Yeah, I did notice we were getting a debuff every time that guy, like, mega charged us, which was ultra fast. That doesn't sound like a good idea. Um, one way to find out. It's not like I can't press F9 if things go shit. Alright. Find out. 165. 
173. It gave us eight. Um, let's save it. Let's use it later. fell through the floor into a new area. Oh, we just straight up get zapped. We dead? Am I dead? Is this beta? I don't think so. It's on Steam. It's called Vaporum Lockdown. And apparently it's a sequel. I had no idea. It's not safe for her out here. Oh, it's fear. I played this game. Or is it literally Bioshock? <laughs> find out what happened i must get back to the elevator all right so we still have all of our equipment it seems objectives Elliot, updated you ron There's you're the last person i ever me. ever want to hear like from ever again i hate you the machines are killing everybody all around i'm hiding in the, the end the credits room. roll <laughs> Ron, just hold on. I'm on my way. Ron? Get this, get this. Ron now is scared. Before, he couldn't give a shit. He's in his now. office, no problem, everything's fine. Now, now that I'm in the shit, I decide to go rescue him. Uh, return to the elevator, new quest. Test another teleporter. The other teleporter is also offline. Two batteries again, then another leap of faith. Um, oh, well, I have to do that to get back, I assume. Yeah. Although, maybe this door will be open now. Maybe, well, I don't know. We'll test it. We'll go through just to maybe get this, see if it gives us anything if we do. I don't know. Hmm. They will have a love affair after this. Have you guys played... I shouldn't actually talk too much. There's a game called Firewatch. If you know, you know. Um, it's a very enjoyable game, right up until the very end. I was so, so pumped for that. And Miss, Miss McQueeb, she, she, we played it together. And, uh... She was pissed. <laughs> All right, so that's now blocking our path, right? Obviously, we can't go back. Uh, yeah, definitely not. The end of... You you like the end? Oh, don't get me wrong. The end of the, the game, like solving the... You know, the puzzles and, and the way it all unfolds. That I agree with, 100%. I really enjoyed it. I mean the the very end, the the closing cutscene. It was just like, oh, that's it. That's how you're gonna. Oh. <laughs> um, I do highly recommend the game, though. It's very good. They did a great job with that. All right, so the teleporter is still there. That's our secret room. Teleporter looks like it's on the fritz now. Where am I? Uh...
It is Bioshock. They look freaking awesome. I don't want to fight one of them anytime soon. Is the stream blurry for you? Uh, Nuclear Squirrel, if you've been on the stream for a while and you maybe tabbed away or whatever, refresh the page. Oh, my head. Look who's here. A little rat lost in the maze of your own making, huh? Harlan? What? How? Don't worry, Ellie. No, that's a valid you question. I think you should answer. Haywire. Did I lose a chance? Oh no, we still get to go through the door and I can that's okay, so they've obviously gonna block this area off and we'll go up this door. I must get back to the elevator. I agree. Let's go. After we save. Yeah, we had a weird glitch. I think what happened um when I was changing games, I stopped my recording. And I've got a Google uh, Drive sync, and I think that started in the background, and obviously uploads is kind of what we need to stream. I think that was uh, sending things a little bit crazy. Oh, interesting. They're going to let me go back through here. I don't think there's much point, though, no. It's secretly Ron. Heinemann, if you're right. Yeah, you're probably right. Okay, so we, we have to really pay attention to every single wall. The problem is, is like, when we leave here, I don't think there's going to be another, like, um... Well, hang on. They wouldn't give you powerful stuff before discovering the little switch, right? So the only place powerful stuff could have been is in the section of game that we've already passed, but I doubt they would have put two and two, or two close together like that. I don't know. I'm metagaming now, and that's fine. Oh, advanced exo rigs. I'm definitely taking one of these over this crappy basic rig I have on. It's unlikely I'll find another functioning rig station, and they're much better equipped to deal with whatever the hell is taking place. In inactive. Tower. Inactive. 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 Are you taking another one? Because I think they're all locked up, unless. Can't see these old lights are off over here and they're not even Yeah, we're not going back over that side. Sounds like we can upgrade our rig though. I like that. Makes me very happy. That was one of my favorite things about Dead Space. Not only like changing um Oh. Choose one of several exo rigs available in the containers. Beware the choice is irreversible. Five. Assault Rig grants permanent bonuses to... Oh, wow. Okay. Now I'm excited. Uh, more resistance to fumium intake. Bonus to resistance and fumium intake. Uh, also deals more total damage based on missing integrity. Mmm, don't like the sound of that. Increases total damage by 0.75 per percent of missing integrity. Maximum of a 75% bonus. 10% fumium, 5% uh, fumium intake. So our uh, mana would increase there with salt rig. Heavy rig grants permanent bonuses to overall durability and recovery. Also grants a chance to reflect an incoming attack back to the attacker, Preventing any damage to yourself. This chance is doubled when below a threshold of integrity. That sounds really good. Um, has a 25% chance to, one, prevent all damage. Two, deal 100% of incoming damage back to melee attacker. Three, increases chance to 50% when below 40% health. Plus 30% toughness. Does it tell us what toughness... Oh, it's a statistics that increases rig integrity. Hit points. And the likeliness of evading direct attacks. 25% repair power. Um, this is definitely a contender. 
And I'd say that without knowing what the other two are. Dorma Rig. Grants permanent bonuses to using high-tech gadgets. Also grants bonus energy regen when below a threshold of energy. When below 35% energy, 50% extra energy regen. 30% tech and 0.5 energy regen. Uh, tech is a statistic that increases your energy reserves and the damage output of gadgets. Hmm. Kind of like a mage. Also interesting. Combat rig. Grants permanent bonuses to weapon attacks. Also deals bonus damage with every third successful uh, weapon attack. On every third weapon, hit increase damage 50%. 30% combat, 25% critical damage modifier. Combat is a statistic that increases the damage and the accuracy of weapon attacks. Oh, that sounds really good too. Hey, Synchron, how you doing? This one does kind of sound good. We'd be more of a, this is kind of like a, I don't know, a, a barbarian class, I guess. Accuracy is kind of cool. Because say what, the accuracy is just combat. It's like a combined stat. Hmm. Chat, let's have a poll. I think I think this warrants uh, this warrants a poll definitely. All right, let's give it two minutes on the clock. We'll see what happens. Tank Mage DD. DD. And Rogue. I'll let you guys choose. I think that's, uh, I think that's fair. Tank is pretty good, huh? 25% chance to prevent all damage. If it's a melee attacker, they take some of that damage back. 30% toughness, 25% repair power. Which means our heals are going to be either quicker or heal for more. I assume heal for more. Yeah, that, that chance to avoid damage, especially the way I play... Really good idea. What was the tank? We're looking at it. A heavy. Uh, toughness. 30% toughness is a statistic that increases rig integrity and the likeliness of evading direct attacks. I wonder if that is on top of the 25% chance to completely... Reflect. It's not. That's extra. Oh, uh, that. Well, it is. Yes. It's it's extra. Hey, Jeffrey. Look, if you guys decide on something else, that's fine. You know, you know me. We lose. I just blame it on you guys. It's easy. <laughs> All right. Here comes the results of the poll. Oh, it's overwhelmingly in favor of, uh, of this one. Okay, cool. Here we go. Actually, why don't we do this? We'll set an actual save game here. Choosing suit. If we make a mistake, uh, you can always undo it. Heavy rig it is.
Correct, Heinemann, yes. Now we're talking. Yeah. I feel so much more powerful and safe. Oh, I got an achievement. Already. Always wear now, protection. To the elevator. Now to the elevator. He's gonna be like, right, but where's the suit that I gave you? I want that shit back. <laughs> like, run. Dude, that's that's not what you should be thinking of right now. Um Interesting. Can we not? Oh, there's a floor plate. Got it. This is all locked off now. Okay. Cool beans. Well, we're not going this way, obviously, so we have to go straight ahead. No more rats? Are you just going to let me escape? It'd be awfully nice if you did. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's that same spider thing, huh? Come on, recharge, recharge. Oh, wait. Uh, let's get our... Shotgun on? Yes. It is a two-handed weapon. He doesn't even know I'm here. Oh, yes, he does. Ow. Oh, yeah, he's got some kind of bleed effect. That sucks. Yo, thank you so much. I'll g get to that in just a sec. <laughs> Give me a moment. Dude, that's incredible. Thank you. Amazing support. Okay. We'll kite this guy for a little bit. Don't mind using a few bullets. Boom. And I leveled up. Circuits tab. You betcha. Ah, more decision making to do. Hmm. What kind of class do we want to be? Rifles. Let's look at our. Let's look at our skills here. So blunt weapons. Uh, joint discharge grants a chance. You're blunt. Actually, before we get to that, thank you so much. Uh, linked for the five gifted subs. You rock, dude. Thank you so much. We are unkillable now? Well, settle, settle down. <laughs> Trust me, if there's a way, I'll find it. Uh, grants a chance to your blunt weapons to apply a shock effect. 15% uh, chance to apply a shock effect. Last five seconds, deal nine elemental damage per second. Reduces target's total damage by 5%. Damage output. Okay, cool. Concussion unit grants a chance to your blunt weapons to apply a stun effect. 15% chance to stun. So that's... Okay, so that's whether we want to go blunt weapons, which is good for robots. Blade weapons, which is good for soft things, squishies. Handguns. So each rank gives 30% handgun damage and three ammo salvaged. Okay, so you can actually... Ah, that's pretty dope. That is pretty good. Stabilizing the grip on handguns greatly increases your chances of hitting targets. 50% precision. 50% handgun firing speed. On handgun hit, bounces three times to nearby enemies, deals 50% damage per, pound, per bounce. Oh yeah, if we fall, we still... Yeah, 100%. <laughs> Uh, rifles, let's see here, 30% rifle damage, so it's just damage on this one, interesting. The shotgun uses two pellets, no recovery with this, I find that odd. I mean it might go well in combination with handguns, you switch out every now and again. 
Uh, oh wait, rifles spend less ammunition when firing at level 3. I don't know if this is an additional um, unlock, whether we have to get 3 and then that. Or what, not sure. Uh, dude guy, bro man, how you doing? And blind announcer, good to see you guys. Here, sir. Hmm. Energy weapons. So it's extra damage per rank. Uh, particle booster. Heavily reduces the delay before firing, increases the projectile speed, and grants the projectile a chance to apply a frost effect. Ooh, that does sound pretty good. Efficient emitter. Minus 25% energy cost. Uh, and particle discharge on energy hit deals 75% elemental damage to enemies around the target. I wonder if by level 5 you have to make a choice here whether you go left or right. Might be the case. Dual wielding. Uh, each rank reduces the damage penalty. Right, okay, so if we were to carry two weapons, the amount of damage that you output is significantly reduced unless you spec into this. On weapon hit while dueling wielding, dual wielding has a 25% chance to apply up oh my god. Up a bit. Apply an effect. Lasts five seconds plus 30% melee speed plus 30% firing speed. Striking enemies whilst dual wielding has a chance of granting melee speed and firing speed. Okay. I don't know about dual wielding. I think we should definitely focus on increases overall durability. 30% integrity. That gives us an extra 150%. Uh, reduces incoming damage by 15% at level 3. And then we have a choice. Max integrity plus 60%. 30% resistance. Or, when below 25% integrity... Apply an effect that lasts 5 seconds, restores 10% of your max integrity per second. 2 minute cooldown on that one. <laughs> Alright, Synchron, no problem. Thorma, Thorma Catalyzer. Each rank reduces the recharge speed of gadgets. Okay, if we wanted to go like an engineer route. We get a tech increase. What was tech? Oh, that was... We got a small boost to that, I think. Fusion conversion. Each rank increases your energy regeneration rate. Uh, that wouldn't be bad. Plus 0.4 energy regen. Reallocator enhances the efficiency of fumium gathering from a destroyed enemies and fumium capacitors. Causes you to gain portion of damage taken as energy. Oh shit, we could stack our heavy, like our tank form with fusion conversion. I like that. Reclamator. On destroying an enemy, you get 10% of your max energy back. This is this is tempting. And then we've got... Oh my god, there's so many! Each rank increases precision and evasion. That would also ver go very well with this. Uh, we do miss a lot with our shots right now. So maybe uh, servo support would be really good. And at level 3... Prevents all damage. When you... Would take fatal damage instead, gain invincibility for a short time, last five seconds. Good too. Gain more permanent precision to your weapon attacks. Every third critical hit restores a portion of your max integrity. Hmm. Counter strike device. On every third evasion, resets all weapons. And it gives us plus 30% evasion. I'm sure we can... I mean, there's so many. I'm sure we can uh, 
we can choose a couple here. Complex capacitor. Each rank increases integrity and energy. Max integrity, 30 max integrity, energy and integrity. Okay, so that's a good little passive bonus to both stats there. After not dealing or taking damage for a while, your integrity will quickly regenerate up to a threshold. Uh, after not taking or dealing damage for 10 seconds. Uh, rapidly restore integrity up to 25%. Integrity Depositor. Gain a massive boost to integrity. Weapon attacks burn a portion of your max integrity. And add a portion to your max. Gain a massive boost to integrity. We get 300 on top. But every weapon attack burns a portion of that. That's your permanent health. Your, your maximum health. This cannot kill you. Yeah, that sounds iffy. Gain a massive boost to energy. Your gadgets deal a lot more damage, but also cost more to activate. An extra 40% damage. 75% extra energy cost. Ouch. Ouch. Elemental conductor. Resistances. And duration effects. Increase. Okay, that's cool. When below 50% integrity, we get an extra 35% resistance. This will be good for us later, I think. Maybe we can, uh, uh, you know, rank these at the same time. 15% chance to apply random effect for 5 seconds. Your weapon attacks have a chance. Okay. Minions. Uh, no, not so much. Where's the 15% evasion at level 3? Which one was that? Did I, did I miss it? Did I just make that up? Or was that... Uh, hmm. Average max level at endgame is around 17. Really? Oh. And at each one of these, uh, since you seem... Terran, since you've seen like you know what you're talking about. Um, if we reach rank 3 of something, can we then select this first section here. I'm, I must be making it up. I could have sworn I saw that. Uh... I didn't even see blocking. We skipped over that. Shield block chance. A reinforced and more stable grip allows you to equip advanced shields. Okay. Interesting. Oh, okay, no problem, no problem. Well, again, chat, I'm a little bit lost here. There's too many options for me to run a... Ten precision, ten evasion. Okay, so 15 evasion is obviously very, very powerful. Complex capacitor. This is just a flat upgrade along the way. That would make us more survivable. Um, I don't think I would level it past like three though. Hmm. Full tank. Three the pick the three best tanky ones. Six or seven in each. Immune when low. Oh yeah yeah yeah. What was that one? That was really good. Reduce in that's the one. So this is this is the one that just gives us integrity straight up. Every rank gives us 30%, which is pretty freaking great. And the longer we hold out to use that little vial we have, the the better, I think. I'm I'm just gonna go for it. Locked in. Accept. Done. Go. 
Wow. We have 233 health. That is dope. Oh, I get a choice now. Uh, personnel elevator. Key? Okay, so we need a key to access the top two. Testing facility. Where are we right now? Testing facility. Okay, so we go back to construction bay. Let's go. This is cool. I like it a lot. It's a really, like, creepy, futuristic, well, steampunk. Saved. It auto-saved for me. That's very kind. We should equip that and that. We could actually, look, switch to set two. What's the hotkey for that? Z. If I put my, no, fumium gun. 35 energy cost per shot. Let's put my fumium gun in there. Okay. The first one is just as good. Oh, right on. Cool. Construction bay. Construction Nothing bad ever happens in a construction bay. Must be behind that huge bay door. I'll need to restore power to open it up. Ron, I hope I'll find you alive and well. I need a key. Ron can suck it. I hate him. Inactive. I right, so that's what we need to system. power up. Got another locked door here. Yep. Okay. Let's see what's up. What? I guess this guy would... If we press Z... Wait, where are you going? Ow. Oh, he's at me and I'm taking damage over time here. Okay, I'm gonna zap you with my other... Oh, you're real clever. I don't like... Oh, you are really clever. He is coming at... Good shot, my friend. Good shot. He is taking damage there. He's taking two hits every so often. And we're out of energy. I think going in for the... Um... Damn. Caps lock. Inventory screen. Let's equip. Let's equip our pistol. I don't want to go too heavy with uh, with the shots, just in case. I've only got twenty of them. The door. Does the door reveals a boss? No, no, that's not possible. Miss. Oh, you're a nasty one. That doesn't seem to be doing shit. 17. Okay. Well, 17 is better than zero. Alright, so he has a little charge up time there. Which lets us get out of the way. Hey! Even the big spiders have gone rogue. Shock spider. At least I can steal its discharger. Oh, basic discharger. So we get his his move, I guess. 25 elemental damage. Uh, what's the cost? 55. This stuff's so expensive. Actually, you know what? I think I might prefer that instead of the... Um, yes, instead of that. The little, the little drone thing. And... Eh, it's alright. Okay. Can I continue now? Let's go back to our sword and board. 
Do I have to look out for like little buttons on every single... Oh, I guess the cursor changes. I don't want to do that. I might, I might get a feeling of like... Oh, that doesn't look good. I might get a feeling of, you know, based on the room layout, maybe there's a wall somewhere. Ah, shit. Cannon drone. Wait, which one was the cannon drone? The first one or the second one? The second one was just a regular one. I think I like that one that sort of recharges your health when you're standing still. Up until a, a point. Might be good to get. Yeah, let's flip that last, shall we? Now you're talking. Now you're talking my kind of language. Oops. Maces. I don't think I need to read about maces. What? Oh. More choices. Combat body armor. Apprentice outfit. Okay, so 80, 80 max integrity. That gives us 383. Two combat. And combat was attack damage and... One second. Damage and precision. This is cool. This lays it out really nicely. 60 max integrity. A little bit less. 0.8 energy regen to tech. Tech is max energy and gadget damage. 105 to toughness. I mean, this just screams me. 45 max integrity, one combat, one tech. It's a little bit of everything here. The 10% weapon damage is nice. Toughness is... Well, that's our main stat, isn't it? Ah, that's evasion. Ah, let's take them all. We can switch them out as we, as we choose. I put on the wrong one. I'm I'm digging this. This has a really good feel to it. It's you know, the right Oh, and you give me new uh a new squishy sword as well. Alright, I'm gonna have to start put our suits at the bottom. Put my blade down there, put my heel down well, there. That there. Boys can go down here too. The recharge. Mm, there. The wrench is... We'll sell that if we can. If there's shot... I have no idea. Well, I'm just... This isn't Slasher's Keep. It's nowhere near as advanced. Uh, I think we stick with the mace, though. I like the... I like it. 0.3 second attack time. 1.6 cooldown. 0.3... 1.6. So these are exactly the same, except squishies or, or mechanical. Okay. And we can switch in and out as we need. Uh, that's cool. Aha! My old friend. The hole in the ground. Hmm, not today. So, let's activate this switch. I assume we can't go this way yet. Nope, vault key. Oh, yes. Bay generator lock door. Okay. Just wanted to explore first, you know? Not 
not where I expected to open, but cool. I get you. No problem. Uh, we need a brick. Or, actually, this would be just fine. Has to come this way, though, first. Oh, can I just do that? Too easy. No way. Fumium. A unique substance with very surprising properties, powering most devices and machines in the RX Vaporum. Uh, although in the past it was used only as an experimental extension in exo rigs, the powering systems of all modern exo rigs are driven exclusively by the substance. More expensive circuits require more fumium to be stored. To prevent waste, modern exo rigs are equipped to automatically intercept and store fumi fumium particles from the surroundings. Uh, should be the substance leaking from machines or piping. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Okay, cool. Check for a button. Yeah, it definitely could be a button or something here. Okay, we keep going. Hmm, dark. That does not look good. I don't even know what it is. Yeah. Don't like any of that. Hmm. This door won't operate without the hydraulic system running. Okay. Hydraulic system it is. Oh, I should switch to squishy, shouldn't I? I think that thing behind it's a robot though. That's fine. Ah, you're no good when you can't get your little charge shot, can ya, dick? Rusty key again. I had one of those. Good times. Hydraulics control room. Uh, Brain Dead, how are you doing this evening? This game, if you're curious, is called... Uh, Vaporum Lockdown. It's, uh, it's very much like Grimrock, if you're familiar with that. Another one of those uh, mechanical levers. Okay. Got 506 health already? Dope. Keep that up. So the switch is behind this grate. I'm, I'm like a tank right now. I should just be able to smash that gate down. Uh, Blips, hello, welcome. Oh no. Oh no. So fumium is your 
XP, I guess. Or is it is it this? No, that's energy. Oh wait, this is the same people that did Grimrock? Oh wow, okay. I had no idea. Shock effect. When struck by an electric shock, the target's damage output is greatly reduced and they take some damage over a short period of time. Enemies capable of producing such a shock are resistant. Oh, okay, well maybe I shouldn't have used that then. Good to know. Very good to know. Ah, uh, we need my, my gun. Get you out. Was that a timed door? Wait, didn't I have 500 health before? Oh! It's the shield. Now, let's think about this for a sec. We heard a, a ticking over to our left. We've only got four heals left. But... It's this door. Okay. So, got it. What's the range on this? Do I need a rifle? Where is it? Oh, there is a range. Okay, so three is the limit. Okay, so we go... What's that? One, two... I guess that's three. So it's one, two back, two left. Got it. Oh, got it. Thank you, Jeff. Well, I think they did, they deserve like Grimrock is is amazing. I again, I personally prefer the sci-fi and horror and you know future stuff, but um, it, Grimrock was excellent. Um, so they deserve to be treated. I would say on the same level. Switch back. Definitely want to keep that. I love the fact that when you switch back, your max health doesn't have a gap in it. It fills up to what it would have been. Good. What did we open? We opened the... Hydraulics? Or was it something else? Hang on. Might have been something else that we opened. No, that's the button. Oh, possibly this door? Or was that the one with the two gaps in it? Am I looking in the right place? No, probably not. No, we shouldn't be back here. This is the door we want to open. That's the one we can't open. Oops, there is a... I just arrived. Everything is absolutely gigantic. They said the tower, the Arx Vaporum, was colossal, but you just have no idea until you're right in front of this looming giant piercing through the clouds. You can but only stand in awe. Nothing on the islands comes even close to it. The things I've already seen are out of this world. And I've seen nothing yet. I'm literally... Sorry to keep cutting you literally off. Literally shaking with excitement. Just like when Laura came to convince me to get on board this unique project. I really didn't need much convincing. 
I just wanted her to shut up already and take us to the port. <laughs> I can't wait to unpack, get settled, and start working. Laura couldn't say too much before I signed the agreement, but tomorrow morning, she's gonna lay it all on me. I don't think I'll be able to get any sleep tonight. I hope my skills and expertise will be on par with hers and the Supreme Bureau's expectations. And above all, the expectations of my father. I would like him to have been proud of me. I don't like robot assembly lines. I'm not so sure he'd be proud now. The hell? Life here Knew it. in the steel cage God damn is you. nothing like I imagined back then. Hey. Jerks. Once the novelty faded away and the crude, cold reality crept in, all the naive dreams I had disappeared. I miss home. I miss the warmth. All right, can we get anything out of this stuff, I wonder? No, it's all inactive. Okay, what else do we see in this room? Grimrock, Grimrock had some bizarre secrets in it. Like, you'd see a little button like this, just so just sort of standing, uh, you know, across the way. Or like a little rock that was kind of out of place. Why are you looking down? That's just something you do, maybe? Definitely wouldn't be anything there. I've played Wolfenstein. I know exactly where things can and cannot be. Hmm. Yeah. Do that again. Oh, I just block it with myself, no doubt. Maybe it'll one-shot me, I have no idea. Okay, that was super easy. We'll be we'll be exploring little divots in the wall, you can best believe. I I can't though. I can't spend that much time. Maybe in my younger years. Anything that sort of looks out of place. Like that was a great eye on the little sort of square in the center of that uh, that cross beam. Awesome detection skills there. Yeah, all right. Wait, why are you close? Oh! Because we had to do that. Okay, nothing there. Oh, that's interesting. So this one looks like... If we can get a... Breakable objects on the other side, so we have to break that, push... No, this, we can't do that. Push this one out and then pull it? Nope, can't do that either. We have to break the stuff, come back, and then push it. Oh, that red ominous flashing light back there. Uh. Cool. Oh, look at that. There's a little chest there as well. This is a secret? No. I don't agree with that. Consumable. When uh, permanently increases your weapon damage. On use, 5% weapon damage. What else we get? Got epic shoes. 30 max integrity, reducing coming damage by 4. Oh, we are just a machine. Fumium key. Opens lock sealed by a fumium power powered barrier. So here's the here's the question. We got eight health before, right? Now we have five oh six. Let's test this. I'm gonna do a quick save. We got fourteen. Wait, we only got fourteen. So uh in that case I think it's okay to use. Let's 
quickly revert that. Let's find out what stat this actually increases. Just max integrity, but that has to be tied to a, a stat, no? Combat. Heck, 11, 11, 17. Eleven, eleven, seventeen. Two eighty plus. Ah, here we go. Hang on. Two eighty plus eighty one. Okay, that's that's great. We can use these anytime. They're just permanent upgrades. Done. Say no more. Got it. Yep. Thank you, guys. Um, and then, yeah, we definitely want to wear these. And then we're going to sell again, hopefully, these ones. Do I want the projector? That's a little... That's the pet thing. I will worry about that later. Uh, yep. Yep. I'm digging this so hard. Oh, and that's it. That's the secret right there. So they just expected you to... Oh, okay. Well, I mean, we did a little bit of lateral thinking there. We had to break something, and then we saw another breakable object behind, and all we did was shoot it. I mean, basic stuff, but we're still early here. Yeah, I don't like this room at all. It's a big room. Lots of red flashing lights. Surely nothing can go wrong. Is motion blur on? Let's have a look. Mm, yep. Turn that off. Is that a little bit better? That's the frame rate. Hmm. I might lower the graphics a little bit. Hang on. Specifically. Um, this one right here. No need for that. A little bit better? Mm, I don't know. Something at the end of the room. Hey, Fox. How you doing, man? Oh, hello, everybody. Thank you so much for the raid, dude. What's going on in here? This is a game called Vaporum Lockdown. If you've ever played something like The Legend of Grimrock, this is similar, except not, you know, crawling around a swamp. This is crawling around a futuristic underground steampunk dungeon. It's very good. I'm liking it a lot. A futuristic swamp. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, Fox, it's so nice of you to stop in, man. Thank you so much. How's, uh, how's everyone doing this evening? And more importantly... I can't stand in front of that thing, can I? Oh boy. Ah. Uh. Got myself in the worst situation here. Oh, we're fine. We're tanking hits like nobody's business. I am literally standing right in front of the cannon, yes? Yes. Oh my god, dude. 
freaking rats, man. I bet I could have used that potentially to help us along. Well, there's a repair kit. That's uh, 5% max for 10 seconds. Okay, so we can actually go pretty low. Um, yeah, we can go pretty low with the health here. Oh! Nope, it's definitely shooting me. Cool. I was going to say, could I have used that to take out the little critters, but no, negative. Are you going to turn and face me? Yep! Okay. I guess that's what the, the red warning lights are on the wall, right? Like, that's like test firing range. Be very careful, please. Do we get more rats spawn on this side? That'd be pretty dope. Now, can I protect myself as we leave here? Is there a box I can move in front of it somehow? Yeah, you face that way. So you have to turn. I'm going to do a little bit of an inspect here. Nothing, nothing here. Okay, so I have to go down. Oh, we're going to take a hit, maybe. See how quickly we can get through. That's respect right there. Kill it. So after a week here in the arcs, I can confidently say that everything's exactly as I expected. Despite Uncle's raving, it's all just dabblers, fools, and brown noses. And to top it off, they put me in the bunks with this rabble. We can hit it. Petty, trivial banter. All if we hit long. it. <laughs> Just my luck. My Uncle Danton Stag should if it have been bleeds, we can kill it. Project. They elected to choose younger blood. Some foot soldier right from the island wars. Uncle was appointed Minister of Science and Research. So he at least got me here. The so-called pinnacle of human technology. I'm fiercely determined to match his status. And make him proud. Um, well, if nothing else, it. it's XP. But not like that yeah, a couple of bullets. Brown nose crawl. Like we got our, our rusty key. It's you weird the number of doors that open with such... Spewing all those guidelines and regurgitated Supreme Bureau phrases. Ugh. Degraded. Equipment. We'll be closing that behind me. Um, we've been in this room, right? Yeah, been in this room. So, where do we want to go now? Dealt with all that. There's Rusty Key, right there. We'll check these other doors on the way back as well, but I have a feeling that... What's this one here? Vault Key. We need to restart the hydraulics. Where was the... Do these doors have a... No, they don't. Golden key. Hold up, hold up. Silver key. Gold, silver. That's like doom all over again. Vault, rusty. And we have... Fumium. Cool. Oh, I can hear the water in the pipes. That's dope. I really like that. Alright, let's go Rusty Key. Nope, that's still locked. Just no rats, that's all I'm... See, there's a hole over here. Why would you put a hole here if you didn't expect rats to come through? Maybe it's not water. <laughs> and that's the door we need to write. Okay. It's rusty key time. So we shoot that. What else we got? 
So that's a shootable button. Or we can press it. I wonder if it expects us to push this into the hole. This is, um, okay, so this is a good test. Oh, we have to make some choices here. There's three holes in this room. And in fact, this center area doesn't look all that safe either. Save it on this one. First things first, let's shoot this. It did give us bullets for a reason. I freaking knew it. That lets me walk here. Got it. Pull this back. Got it. Go back here. This one's open, so one more step this way. Ah, but now we kind of stuck. To push it back forward. Forward again. We're going through with the box. We're going through with the box. It's my box now. Shit. We've got to do the inverse of what we did before. And I think that's literally the only solution for that room. I don't like it, but that's the way it is. Look at that. Magical bag of holding. These crates will open if I'm not careful. Which means save early and often. Big surprise. Repair kit we so desperately require. No, I don't want to. I want to put it back in the bag. What's wrong with you? What's that noise? Look at this. A switch at the end of a corridor. Again, nothing ever bad happened in video games when you uh, activate that. Great. The hydraulic store should work now. Mm. Updated objectives. Okay. So if we don't find here a gold and silver key, actually, I'm going to take advantage of this uh, note-taking ability here. Um, I'm going to write it right in the middle. Gold and silver and what was the other one? Whatever. Keys. Um, the vault key and the... Yeah, that's the last one. If we don't find them, then we go hunting. That's when we'll painstakingly look at every single wall. We have a little office desk here. Yes, I'm I was going to look at the set of drawers. Ooh! Basic servo booster. Gadget. Gain melee speed for a limited time. Affect yourself. Last 30 seconds. Plus 30% melee speed. For 30 seconds? That's dope. Only a 40 energy cost. I think I'm gonna 
So we're a tank. Um, for now, I'm gonna, uh, we're, we're gonna take all this. Since I gave birth to Sophie, a little angel. This sounds really good. The research has been going great. We'll store this one Margaret closer to the top because I think so much and have our daughter I would like to replace time. our little flame shocker with that. Not a sickness. This is a little I'm bit too expensive as right now. Able and productive as before, if not even more. Fumium never fails to amaze me. We're like kids in the playground, playing with sand for the first time, just discovering all the things you can do with it. And boy, the possibilities seem endless. I feel we're on the brink of something huge. Maybe the discovery of a century. This is my life. I've worked so hard for this. And I'm not... Okay, so now we have access to that child, door over not there. Even my own. Not that I'm not worried. My little sweetheart is the most precious thing in my life. But being around Fumi okay, doesn't seem just to a little... her in any way. Quite the opposite. She seems to be unusually attentive. Scared the hell out of me looking at this thing before I was like, as if she understands good. every single Just a hydraulic thing. As if there is an already intelligent being behind those foamy and blue eyes. Laura has always been so zealous. Timing. Even back at the university. Literally. Her enthusiasm was infectious. And she's brought the same kind of passion here. I wonder, was it this great quality of hers that brought doom upon the tower? Oh, that is not a big window. Another breakable section back here. Would you look at that? Damn it. Hell yeah, what do we got? Combat fused. Consumable. When consumed, permanently enhance your fighting capabilities. Plus one combat. Nice. When consumed, permanently increase... Premium supply. Nice. And oh my god. So. A new dagger. Slightly more damage. On weapon hit from behind. Uh, deals 75% more damage. 35% damage to organic enemies. To precision as well. Just as a nice little passive bonus. Yeah, that's probably worth taking. I know we're fighting, like, robots and stuff right now, but... Are pretty good, right? That's pretty good. Alright. What did... No. Leveled up again! Freaking cool, man. This is great. I'm sorry. This is an excellent game. I'm liking it a lot. It's that that gameplay loop that just really gets you. And then you have to make all these really deep choices. And it's like, what do I do? Do we want to add another 30% integrity? Or is that... I think that would be an, an, extra, an extra 30, right? Oh, wait. We can't do this. Oh, requires level 4. It forces you into other, um, other specs here. So the other one was blocking, right? Since we are shield users, it wouldn't be a bad idea. And especially at level 3, we get enhanced shields. What's the higher ones there? First of all, plus 6% shield block chance. That's probably saved our butt, butt a lot. Deal 75% of incoming damage back to melee attacker. That's awesome. Apply stun effect. So hang on, question. There was one other thing we were looking at in here that was like super good sounding, but I can't remember what it was exactly. It wasn't blocking. Gadget damage, no. Fusion conversion, no. Servo support. Like one of the... That might have been the one I was looking at. 30% evasion on top of what we got going on. We'd be we'd be near indestructible at that point. And then they've got complex capacitor, which gives us a flat. It's okay, this isn't a percentage increase, this is a flat increase. 30 extra energy sounds really good. I like the sound of that. 
to precision to evasion. Let's go with servo support as well for now, since it's pretty, pretty across the board. Good, good stats, I think. You get nervous when I turn my back to a door I just opened? No, 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 no. It's fine. Um. Okay, that's cool. So this we're going to have to... Let's save. Okay, it wasn't so difficult. I think the complex one is a bonus to base, which then gets scaled by your percent bonuses. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't like this, this, these two here. I mean, so these ones come with a good and a bad sort of attribute here. Um, especially this one. Like, at that point, we'd probably have thousands of HP, right? So maybe it's good? I don't know. Maybe that's not good for us, though. Understood. Thank you, dude. Big surprise. What's up, my, my dude? Nope, don't like either of you. Can you hit each other? Is that possible? I'm gonna back myself into a corner here. Oh god. Yep, that's not what I wanted to happen, damn it. I should be using my mace right now. It's really good, dude. Like it a lot. This is an excellent uh <laughs> mutator sandwich. That's that's funny. I tweeted about that today, actually. Somebody wrote uh It was about speedrunning, but essentially same same sort of gists. Uh, speedrunner plays a game outside of their main game. Uh, someone in chat, you know, ultimate witty moment. This 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 absolute gem of a comment that must be said. And uh, it's oh, is this the new update to X, Y, and Z, or a different game, or yeah, we got a hat. Basic aim stabilizer. Ooh, gadget. For a limited period. Uh, last 30 seconds. Handgun precision and rifle precision. I'm not really a shooter. Like, I use it for utility, but I don't think I'm going to be investing heavily in that, really. So we'll hang on to it. Again, if we can sell stuff, great. If not, we'll have to drop some of this stuff after a period of time. Uh, Alice, we have a problem. I lost the key to the eastern part of the construction bay. Last time I had it on me was while working on the submarine, I think. Neurotic Mannheim called up the whole crew. You know, double time it, ladies, or else. Being there on time is just a question of life and death with him, so I dropped everything and just ran. Anyway, uh, as soon as you can, please check around the sub to see if you can find it. Okay, so we need to make another note on my map wherever the sub may be, whatever. Submarine key. Look at this. A little blade did that. A tiny little, um, that's not a knife. You're going to chase me down here. There's a button over there. I could potentially shoot that. Or not. That is not a button then. Let's uh, do a quick recovery here. I'm 
Let me get a peek out here. Okay, just a literal fireball thrower. An insta kill fireball thrower. No shit. Okay. The one thing I didn't try, I thought I did try it, but. About 10 seconds. Hmm. Oh, wait, I'm safe here. Hold up, hold up. And there's another button down here. Okay, hold up. This just got to hold up. I, I didn't... Okay. So everywhere else in the game, this is the way the game has taught me. You see a barrier on the floor. And it's like your brain immediately goes, well, I know that if I try to pull something or access an area where there's another barrier, and I'm thinking like I'm, a, I'm this big hulking unit, right? No, you can just step over a pipe. What I think has to happen here, obviously we can't break this box. We press both buttons. So that's got to be a thing. Did I miss it? I think I fucked it up. Try that again. Ooh! Oh, it doesn't stay open. The plot thickens indeed. So I have to get over here and then back straight into that. Oh. Sven Staru, thank you very much for the pres prescription. Thank you for the prescription. Welcome to the channel. Doctor? Doctor? Doesn't look vampire related. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, so this barrier down here is to prevent this box being pulled out in front of the... Making this a very easy puzzle. Ooh! <laughs> Did I write Vampirum? No, I didn't. Okay, good. When's the best time to... Hmm. Maybe I'm not thinking properly here, but that seems awfully tight either way. I have to click this. I don't have a speed up mechanism or anything like that. I think that's the only thing I could have done there. I would definitely like to access this door. I should have, I should have chest. Let, let's reload that. That was pretty easy. Let's, let's reload again. <laughs> Pull this back a couple. Um... Okay, so let's save it here. Wait, is this the button I need to? It is, okay, fine. So what I want to see this time is if there's anything down the other corridor, because there's another door there. No, okay, that's fine. Like mist, but you die a lot? No, no, no. No, no, no. It's, it's definitely more like Legend of Grimrock. So it's a grid-based, old-school... Well, it's a modern take on an old-school dungeon crawler, essentially. Okay. 
Yeah, that could only be done one way. A dagger, shield, and an HP meter. Looking forward to seeing some combat. <laughs> wow, wow. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm a child of the 80s and 90s. <laughs> For me, a dungeon crawler is definitely, maybe, not the same thing you have in mind. These plates down here are, uh, they're, coll they're collapsible. Either something will come out of them, or we have to fight something. Snap. The lever's missing. Snap, indeed. Okay, once more. It's the only way out. It just saved by itself. Overall, very positive on Steam, but mixed recently. Oh, it went down recently. Have I ever finished The Legend of Grimrock? The first one I have. Well, correction, as I mentioned before, I think I got up to the last boss and I couldn't beat it. Um, two, I don't think I, I finished. Oh, there's something glowing behind that wall. That's actually a cracked wall. I either want to break it or something's going to break out of it. Settle down, buddy. You're a squishy little one, aren't you? Assault Guardian. Piece of cake, no problem. Oh, an actual rifle rifle. 30 damage. 2 precision. 2 ammo usage. That's a bummer. Hey, Pandora. How you doing this evening? I'm carrying a lot of shit here, and there's about to run out of space, so... I wonder if... I think more dudes come down this little chute here. I'm looking... I'm looking for buttons. We got gloves! There's our handle. Oh my god, this is amazing. Uh, broken submarines. We've had three submarines stuck here in the last two weeks, each within, with each with a different defect, different issue. Breaches in the hull, broken propellers, malfunctioning batteries, just to name a few. I'm completely clueless as to what the hell is causing this, apart from maybe the pilots getting disoriented down there in the vapors, uh, making mistakes. Rumor has it that the fauna, local to the Fumium core, has unusual behavioral patterns. Uh, even if that's true, how would anything damage the sub so badly? We can handle one of the submarines here on the construction platform. I sent a list of things that need fixing to Captain Harrigan. Har Harriman. Patch up the middle part of the hull, fix the propeller, and recharge the Fumium propulsion system. Arthur Diggins, Chief Engineer, Construction Division. Civilized mole rat to uh, sell stuff to. Civilized, that's a good word for the mole rats in uh, in Flash's Keep. Not more intelligent just because they decided to start a business. The other guys, I think, are pretty capable of doing that themselves if they wanted to. The lack of uh, lack of drive, lack of ambition. We want to get over to this box if we can as well. Toolbox, nothing. And you just go ahead and upgrade me on all of the shit. Cadet pistol, that's a major upgrade. Great pair. While my contributions have been a steady boon to the overall progress and growth, it's only because the people leading the project are top experts themselves. Marcus and Laura Reichs, both quite different, but very useful and helpful each in their own way. Marcus has this ability to create a friendly, easy atmosphere where creative juices can flow freely. He can pretty he can be pretty strict if need be, but that's a good thing in my eyes. Discipline and results go hand in hand, and Laura, she's the real driving force, infecting everybody with her zealous will to move forward no matter what. She is the boldest and most productive of us all, 
I'm a little ashamed to admit it, but it's a fact that I can't match her speed as of yet. They make a great pair. I wish I could be like them someday. James Kroll, Deputy Foreman of Manufacturing. Okay, here's the here's the rub. We are four slots shy at the moment of being max capacity. Let's check these weapons real quick. There's another bag over there. We've got a dagger, 10 damage, to precision. Oh wait, that's the old one? No, the old one was seven, this is 10. So it's trash, we can... Can we sell in this game? I don't know. 16 damage on a sword. Slightly slower, however, than the one we're using. In fact, almost almost double. So that's not worth using. No, this this takes the cake every time. So let's switch our mace over. We'll keep that one up here. The rifle we found earlier. Cadet pistol. That's a good upgrade for us. Wear that. Put this one down here as well. Let's shuffle some things. Hunter shotgun can go because we have this rifle now. We've still got this energy weapon. Uh, I don't care too much for swords anyway. There's our handle and there's our key. Oof. Did we wear the helmet? We put that straight on. Chef's kiss. I love it. When consumed, permanently increases energy. Nice. Hell yeah. Anything else? That looks pretty solid, huh? What an amazing room, though. One tiny little guy to take out, and we just stood there and face rolled him. No, don't shoot. So we've been here before, yes. Mm, yes, this was the room that... Ah, right. Handle. Switch. Now do a massive fight, yes. Up the bay door in the central room. Like I'm... I got this sixth <gasps> sense or something. Fine. Give me all your troubles. They actually do a ton of damage. I gotta work out how to better fight them. I guess a more open space would be better. No, no, no. Talking about the mole rats in Slasher's Keep. No, I uh, referred to... Okay, yeah, that's the fireball. That's the fireball corridor. Oh, wait. So we've been in this room. Why did they give us that there? Let's have a look. See if the fireball still works. I'm just, I'm just curious now. No, no, no. Talking about the mole rats, I um, mentioned that I, I initially said that the mole rats are more intelligent than the ones running a shop, and then I kind of backtracked on that a little bit because intelligence has nothing to do with it. Um, and then someone mentioned the fact that they were wearing clothing instead of just a, you know, a diaper. Oh, right. This door doesn't work because the fireball was on the other side, maybe. I don't know. I'm with it now. We have two choices of rooms here. One of them leads back. Let's double check. Yeah, okay. Nothing going on there. Deeper into the rat's nest we go. Bay generator. So we're heading to the sub now. 
pretty cool. Quite excited. Oh, wait. We don't have any of the required keys, though. Well, let's see what's up. It's quite a big map. I remember this room. We got some good upgrades in this room. That's the main door. It's open. And we've got a button now. Nope, that's the elevator. Time to press the button. Yeah. That ain't good. Okay, this is a sub. A little bit smaller than what I was expecting. I, I don't know why. Inactive. Release lever. Oh, we need a key first though, right? We ain't done yet. Oh. Cutscene. So, this is supposed to be my ticket out of this hellhole? Doesn't exactly seem to be in top shape. Well, let's see if I can get. I didn't save it, so. Somehow. Or did the I? The main hull is blown open. I'll need to patch it up. <clears throat> the propeller is missing. Hopefully, I can find a replacement somewhere. Pretty sure we'll be able to find a replacement. The is definitely out of juice. I'll need to fully charge it to make it to the islands. Oh, and I'll need some substantial food rations to survive the trip across the vast ocean. It couldn't be any easier, Ellie. Seriously, you got this far. You're like a tank right now, literally. Alright, any buttons on here that I should be aware of? This game likes to hide shit all over the place. First things first, what's in here? A brick and a silver key. Well, we know where to head next. Okay. Construction bay, that's where we are right now. Submarine elevator key workshop. Okay, so we've got a couple of levels here as well to check out. Unless that's the same workshop boundary. Power plant. Was that the same in the regular elevator as well? Maybe giving, it, giving us a, like a different way to get up there maybe. Um, folks, I am... Oh shit, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. I am going to cut it right here. Um, what does that say? Humium propulsion system. Okay. I'm digging it. I'm digging this a lot. Um, I think I think we'll keep playing. I'm liking it, so why not? The brick's super important. Don't laugh. It's really, really important. Trust me. Um, folks, thank you so much. You've all been incredible. Again, as always.